So, I know it's been a year. Um, I'm not really gonna talk about that. It was my junior year of high school. I didn't have any time. Moving on, I'm glad I have time now. So, today, what we're going to be doing is making a cage crinoline or hoop skirt based off of a tutorial that was posted online on YouTube by a channel called Fiona and Erin. Um, so I'm going to put the link to that video in the description because I'm pretty much following their instructions exactly. Um, so this will just be kind of the making process and frustration, not necessarily a tutorial because I'm following a tutorial from someone else who did a pretty good job of explaining it. So, um, as you can see, I have about 50 feet of just tubing. It's half inch tubing that I got from Home Depot and my dad helped me pick it out because he knows what he's doing. And I did some basic measurements. And before I can get to cutting this, because I'm a little overzealous, I need to go upstairs and start cutting out my strips of, um, oh my god, what are they called? Ribbons, ribbons, heavy duty ribbons. That's what I need to cut out now. Um, I'm cutting out eight ribbons and attaching them to a waistband just like she did. Honestly, you should really go watch her video before watching mine or else this isn't really gonna make much sense. So let's get started. I'm excited, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Hello all, coming to you from a place that is definitely not my upstairs, aka my local Joanne Fabrics. Um, so I quite easily and successfully located the beautiful, white, sturdy uh, ribbon. Why do I keep forgetting that word? That I need, because um, I went upstairs and looked for a ribbon like this and realized that I'm all out. So, um, I just picked up two rolls of that, and I also needed some hook and eyes for the waistband, and had spent about 15 minutes running all over the store looking for them, um, only to find that they were literally right here. So. I got those, sorry for the shaky camera work. I don't have a tripod on me and I'm gonna just head back home, okay. Hi, so my cat wouldn't stop meowing so I just had to pick him up to sedate him. Um, so I'm back in my upstairs sewing room area. Let me just, my dad's playing loud music. Sorry about that. Um, so now that I have gotten all of my needed uh, supplies and everything, got my ribbons, got my hook and eyes, and I'm ready to get started. So the basic, Steve! about that um, so the basic explanation of what I'm doing I have all drawn up on this handy dandy little sheet where basically I'm making these loops of um, the piping that I showed you guys earlier and it is going to gradually get smaller and smaller and smaller so these are all of the uh, circumferences of the various circles that I'm making and I just made a little sketch for myself so I kind of could see it better because I'm much more of a visual learner perceptual person oh my god I can't speak today um, so I just have to use these ribbons attach them to a waistband so that I can attach the ribbons to the hoops and that's that's it um, so I'll get back to you once I've sewn together all the ribbons and the waistband and I can get started on the fun cutting, hack sawing, however I'm going to be, um, you know, measuring and separating all of the different hoops for the hoop skirt. So I'll get back to you then, all right. Hi, so I'm currently cutting out the waistband and I realized that I never actually explained what I am making this hoop skirt for, which is probably, you know, a pretty important thing. Um, 
So I am planning on making Belle's ball gown uh, based off of the original cartoon, not the live action movie. I love the live action movie and the way that they readapted her dress, but when I think of Belle's ball gown, I think of like the, you know what I mean, like the, the poofy, ruffly way that it looks in the cartoon, not the way that it looks in the live action movie. Um, Belle has always been, well maybe not always, but um, has consistently been one of my favorite uh, Disney princesses. I've always thought that if I was going to, you know, make a Disney princess costume or cosplay or whatever, that I would make Belle because I think that I look the most like her, you know, brown hair, brown eyes. I don't really know if there's any other uh, Disney princess that has brown hair and brown eyes. So I was at Joanne's about a year ago now and I saw this fabric it has these like gold metallic roses on it and i just fell in love and bought it instantly even though i didn't have the time or money to be able to actually construct the whole thing at that moment but now i do so i'm so excited this has been so such a long time coming and um i'm sorry for my dad's loud music if you guys can hear that if you can't super okay I'm going to work on the waistband and come back to you when I look like an octopus. Okay. Behold, my many ribbons. Steve, do you like my many ribbons? Oh, oh. <laughs> this has been a brief emotional break from cutting many, many strips of ribbons. Back to work. Alrighty, so now that I have cut out all of my ribbons, I have to burn the ends to keep them from fraying. And normally I would just do this off camera, but I thought it would be fun to admire my lovely box of matches. If you love something, set it free. If you hate something, set it on fire. That's all. Okay, so it is nighttime now, as you can see, and um, my sewing room has terrible lighting if it doesn't have natural lighting, so you're just gonna have to see one half of my face illuminated. But as promised, I am now an octopus, um, or I guess a deco puss because I used 10 ribbon strips as opposed to 8. I just wanted a bit more stability because I'm using thinner ribbons. Um, but yes, feels nice. Um, they're much longer than my feet to accommodate for all the little ribbon loops that I'm about to have to make. So that's the next step and I might get it done today, I might go to bed because it's like midnight now, but who knows? We shall see. Okay. I'm having way too much fun with this. <laughs> like, I don't want to move on. I just want this to be the project. Like, project complete. I'm an octopus. Decapus. Whatever. <laughs> okay, see you guys in a bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. You won't believe what I'm doing. I'm sewing on the last loop of this monstrosity. Do you know how many loops I've sewn? 60. I've sewn 60 of these tiny little individual stupid loops and I'm <laughs> going a little crazy. So I, I know that it would be monotonous and boring but I thought, you know, I'll put on a couple episodes of a TV show. I'll listen to an audiobook. It'll be fine. It won't be that bad. I'll get it done in a few hours. So it's been two days since you last saw me. And I know that I said in, in my last little clip that the next time you see me, I'd have all the loops done. And I'm, I, I was honest. I was truthful to my word. It just took much, much longer than I anticipated, and I am just, I really, like, y you don't know. 
it, it was terrible. And before you say, oh, why didn't you use a sewing machine? Because then not only would it have been monotonous, but it also, I would have been in one place in one room of my house, not able to move around or go sit down on the couch and watch TV. I would have just had to sit there. And the sewing machine is so loud that I can't like listen to anything without blasting it. And so yeah, I hand sewed it because I honestly like hand sewing. I like the freedom that it gives me to be able to, you know, go sit outside and move around. And it just prevents me from actually losing my mind because as much as I'm talking about how annoying this has been, it hasn't been that bad. And now, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Look at all my beautiful loops. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. Okay. And now, the fun part. Go. <laughs> Woo! Last up. Okay, so I have all of my ingredients that I need. So I have my cut out pieces of tubing. I have my decapus little waistband with all of my meticulously sewn loops. And I have tape. So I have uh, two different kinds of tape. They're both just white and we'll see which one I end up using. This is electrical tape and this is a kind of fabric tape, but it's really, really sticky. I might end up using both, to be honest. So um, I'm going to do a little bit of experimenting. I'm gonna slide my, my hoops into my loops and I might show some of that process or the next time you see me, I might be done. Who knows? Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy. It's done! So I had to come out in my backyard to show you guys because I don't have enough space in my upstairs sewing room to get a full body shot. But it's done! Um, it's been longer than I care to admit since I filmed the last clip. It's been done for probably about a week now, but I just haven't had the chance to film because it's been rainy and I've been unmotivated. But I finally finished. I am so, so happy with how it turned out. It was really quite easy. Uh, the actual construction process of it probably only took me uh, like three days or so. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's just really repetitive. I got a little bored at times, but <sighs> oh my gosh, I am just so thrilled that it's done and that the first step of my bell costume is complete. So um, now is time for the word of the day. So, the word of the day today is yonderly. So, yonderly means someone who is extremely absent-minded or just kind of all over the place, which is very much how I feel on a constant basis. So, um, yeah, that's the word of the day for today. Bye everybody, I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the rest of my bell dressmaking adventures.